hey guys what's up so today we are going to look at the anatomy of the gluteal region so this will be just an introduction about its extension and surface landmarks so actually gluteal region will extend from the iliac crest superiorly up to the gluteal fold inferiorly this is the superior attachment and this is the inferior attachment actually when you look the look at the uh, back of the human so this is the boundary of the iliac crest on either side and then we have the gluteal fold below and what are the different surface landmarks that we are going to see we are going to see the l4 l5 s1 and s2 spinal segments and then we are also going to find the what it is called as the tip of the greater trochanter and the ischial tuberosity here and the tip of the coccyx here so these are the different surface landmarks what are the different surface landmarks these are the spinal segments of l4 l5 s1 and s2 this is the uh, boundary of the iliac crest on either side we have the posterior superior iliac spine here on either side then we have the tip of the coccyx and then we have the tip of the greater trochanter on either side we have the uh, scale tuberosity and also the gluteal fold so these are the general surface landmarks of the gluteal region and we also note that it contains one of the post one of the most powerful and bulkiest muscle in the body that is the gluteus maximus and all the structures which enter the gluteal region from the pelvis are covered by this muscle that is the gluteus maximus and also the gluteus maximus is the chief extensor of the hip joint and it also plays a major role in maintaining the erect posture of a man so this gluteal region is one of the most common sites of intramuscular injection as well so this is why we need to learn and know about the gluteal region anatomy so much so now we will look at the something called as the nelton's line and also Bryant's triangle. So, what is Nelton's line and Bryant's triangle? When you look at the lateral view of the human body, lateral view of the human body, what do we have? We have the anterior superior iliac spine of the hip, then we have the tip of the greater trochanter and the ischial tuberosity. And the line that passes through the tips of all three is the Nelton's line. What do we have? We have the anterior superior iliac spine of the hip joint. Then we have the tip of the greater trochanter, and then we have the ischial tuberosity. Line which passes through the tip of the anterior superior iliac spine to up to the iliac tuberosity. This is known as the Nelton's line. And also we have something called as the branch triangle. What is branch triangle? We, when we draw the uh, vertical line through the anterior superior iliac spine of the hip, uh, hip joint, and then when we draw the horizontal line through the tip of the greater trochanter, we form a triangle, right? This is known as the Bryant's triangle. So these are the this is the general features that you need, that you need to know about the gluteal region introduction. So thank you guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next videos of the anatomy of the gluteal region.